was trying to put the sock on my shoe. He has an owie on his nose because he fell down the pool the other day. He's trying to, trying to put his sock on my shoe. He knows it was on my foot. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> sock. Sock, yeah, sock. Sock. Oh, interesting. I've got a friend request from my nephew. Not Matthew, my other nephew. Yeah. That was weird. Charlie Ferris. Didn't even remember who he was. I call him CJ, but. Um. I have a Jackson Hush. Uh, I get out of the. Okay, I gotta get him out. Hello, me. No, I'm just kidding. I know, I say that all the time, it's me, and then I always say the same thing. Who else would it be? Anyway, I'm just going to keep saying it's me. Obviously, it's me. Anyway, um, so it's my, uh, let's see, it is 9.20, and it is May 2nd. Yes, May 2nd. Uh, I um, had a pretty good day. I mean, I went run. I didn't go run with my son. I went to work, and then I went to uh, pick my kids up at my mom's. My sister was there picking her kid up, too. My other, my little nephew Matthew, she's picking him up. So we got hung out with her for a little while, had some coffee and some tea, and you know, so I got tired, chatted for a little while, and I had to come home. And Dave made bomb and crock pot chicken. It was delicious, crock pot barbecue chicken, yum, delicious. Love, pardon me, love it, so good. Um, anyway, so um, I did that, and then um, what I had for dinner for breakfast, I had <laughs> Jack in the Box again. Um, but I did have salad for lunch, and I might have with French dressing, but, but tomorrow I'm having leftover chicken and vegetables and stuff, so I'll be good. What am I saying? I don't even work tomorrow, but it doesn't matter. I still have to eat lunch, right? Um, and then again, I made my lunch for work tomorrow, and I'm not even going to work tomorrow. Duh. I'll save it for Thursday. Or I'll just eat it anyway, whichever. Um, so, I mean, a lot going on today, like I said, just kind of that, and, um, just really tired. Oh, I'm just, my tooth is hurting back here. I got a dentist appointment in the morning. We'll have to see what's going on. I don't know if it's like a gum problem or a tooth problem or what, but that's attractive. That's pretty. Look at this elastic my skin has. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. I hate this right here, too. Kind of weird skin discoloration. I don't know. I'd like to get rid of it, but I wouldn't even know how. Except I put makeup on over it. So when I wear makeup, I put makeup on over it. You know, this like really weird skin discoloration. Because there's like weird red stuff going on. <laughs> I don't know what that is rosacea I guess but um I mean it doesn't itch or hurt or anything it's just ugly but I mean I have a really weird looking face it's weird how you notice it on camera it's like really red right here and right here and like my eyelids are totally white it's weird yeah I don't know it's weird uh, I don't know weird my skin's weird anyway my hair's going gray again I think I mentioned that last night Anyway, so, uh, like I said, not a lot going on. Um, just got done watching Bronzers, my favorite brushes to use and how to apply from, uh, Marnie Goldberg. I don't really know how to use bronzer that well, so I was watching a video of her showing how to use it. Um, she's white like me and pale like me, so she was showing how to make your face look a little bit darker. Not darker, but, like, warmer, so it's not so blaringly white. Um, but I noticed she didn't use blush when she used the bronzer, which I thought was kind of odd, but I don't know. I don't really know that much about make putting makeup on, um, which is why I watch these videos. Oh, <gasps> sorry, excuse me. Um, anyway, I'm going to have a little piece of string cheese in a minute and some iced tea, and I'm off tomorrow, so I'm not in the huge hurry to go to bed tonight. I do have, like I said, a dentist appointment in the morning. Lacey and I have a dentist appointment in the morning, it's, and then she has a minimum day at school, so I'm just going to keep her out of school. There's like not much point in going, I think I said this yesterday, too. I can repeat myself constantly, but anyway. Um, working on the laundry there. Got some of it put away. It's not as bad as it was. Got mostly my clothes. Now they put away in the girls' hang-up clothes. They put their fold-up clothes away already. Um, so, anyway. Oh! Fascinating. My nephew, Everett, the one that my husband and I have temporary custody of because his mother is an idiot and an abuser and everything else, is pregnant. Really? Really? pregnant. Why? What? What? Ugh, I don't understand. See, I knew I had something I wanted to rant about, and that's it. Why is she pregnant? She can't take care of a cat. Clearly, she can't take care of her son because he lives with me. I take care of him. I take care of him. Me and my husband and my kids, who actually do help me a lot with him, 
we take care of him. My family takes care of him. My mom takes care of him. My sister has take care, taken care of him. My family treats him more like family than his other family does. People who aren't even related to him, like my parents, treat him like a grandchild. And what? And she's having another child that they're not going to care about, that they're not going to pay any attention to? How does that work? I, I don't understand. Is the state going to take the baby from her? I don't know, because the father has rights, because it's a different father. He has rights, and he has other kids. So, ugh. I'm just really worried that they're going to try to pull off this we have a happy home business. You know, oh look, we're having another baby, and he's going to marry me, and he's 42. She says he's 24, but he's not. If he's not, he's in his 40s at least. He looks like it. I'd want to see proof that he was in his 20s. Like, real valid proof, not some fake driver's license. But anyway, oh, I just can't believe she's having another kid and what's going to happen with that, you know? I mean, she was abusing Everett and that's why he was staying away from her. She doesn't have a good living situation, which is why I don't think she'll get him back, but you never know with the state and the courts and all of that, so I don't know. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and sign off before I start really going crazy because it just irritates me to no end. I, I can't even wrap my brain around why she would even consider having another child. She can't get him back. So I keep pointing back that way. She can't get him back. So why in the world would anyone let her? Uh, why not let her? I mean, you can't stop her from being a kid. But why wouldn't they take the baby away? I don't know. And if they do take the baby away, then I, I can't take another child. I don't have enough room in my house. I really don't. They'd have to, the state would literally have to buy me another house, which they won't do. You know, I can't take care of four kids by myself. And they would have to start working nights. I mean, day shift or something. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to sign off. If you like my videos, click like and subscribe. I know they're fascinating. Um, if you want to follow me on the, or follow my progress on the Fit by Falls, you can just type in Fit by Fall and it'll kind of progress you through it. Um, anyway, it's not, not all that fascinating there either. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sign off and I will see you all later. Have a good rest of your week. Bye.